Hi guys, today I want to discuss how to use Python script in Uvito to do dislocation analysis. Here I am using the edge dislocation case. So let's see how to do this. So let's see the Python script. So I am importing some functions and computing some data and later storing them in some variables and I am printing out the required information which I can get from the data and I am also exporting some files which have useful information. So here I am putting the data in my file and I am doing dislocation analysis. DXA. Now I'll zoom in the left perspective and I will increase the dislocation width line width by four times and you can clearly see the dislocations present in the structure. So here I am using Oveto 2.9 version so please download it because the other versions are licensed. Now here I am importing few functions one is Oveto IO I means input O means output and from there I am importing import file and export file import file I can import the file which I want to do analysis and export file to export some information which I get from dislocation analysis. Now I am using only one modifier which is a dislocation analysis modifier and I am using ovito.data I am importing the dislocation network from there I can get few other informations. So here I am importing the file to pipeline. So what is the pipeline? So in that we have to import the file. You have to give the directory where your dump file is. It's not input as shown here. You should change based on the directory where your input file is or the dump file is and slash the file name. So what is a pipeline? So if you see I can have the dislocation and I can add some modifications or modifiers on the right side so I am doing some data or analysis on the right side I will zoom this and show you how does a pipeline look like so here you can do all the functions where you can add modifiers or modifications you can control what to display like simulation cell surface mesh or particles so this is a pipeline Now I will call the modifier function you want to use by I will use some name modifier equals to dislocation analysis modifier open brackets. So this is how you call a function in python. Now I also give the input structure or the structure crystal structure of the input structure which is the FCC face centered cubic so I use dislocation analysis modifier dot lattice dot FCC now I append the modifier to pipeline using pipeline dot modifiers append and in the brackets I give the modifier so I already have the information of the modifier and after I add this modifier to the pipeline I do computation of the pipeline and store the data in data so data equals to pipeline dot compute open brackets so what is a pipeline so in this when I do you will see a working symbol and you will see that is computing so that is what is computed and stored in the data now you can extract the attributes computed from the dislocation modifier so that is extracted as data dot attributes 
and the information you want to extract dislocation analysis dot total length or dislocation analysis dot cell volume and you store them in some variables so i have here dislocation length and supercell volume i can use this to find the dislocation density of the simulation cell or the supercell that i am using so that is fun information now i print there are five lines here and i print out the dislocation segments so the dislocation segments here are more than one so there are two dislocation segments as shown before and i extract them using data dot dislocation dot segments and from segment in data dot dislocation dot segments i extract further information which is a dislocation network information which is dislocation id dislocation length and true burgers vector and later i print out the segment points as well so this is a very clear way of getting the information and i will run the python script after i run it i see that i have dislocation density i have found two dislocation segments segment 0 and segment 1 for segment 0 i have the total length burgers vector as well as the individual segment points along the dislocation length so this is very useful information that you can extract from the dislocation analysis using python So here I am running the Python script, and when I copy paste this, I have changed my input file directory as you can see in the pipeline brackets. So after I do the computation, I press the play button and I get the computer results, which I have shown you in the previous slide. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also if you have any questions or videos that you would like to see please do mention in the comments below